Hello everyone, welcome to my channel Xenovision. Today I'm going to show you how to install the Spider-Man mod on your Grand Theft Auto 5 game. And with this mod you'll be able to have any Spider-Man suit you want in the game. And also you'll be able to have Spidey powers. And we're going to install this tutorial step by step within 15 minutes and stay tuned i'll show you how to do that but before we get started i just want to inform you this video is for educational purposes only if you find any value in this video please smash the like button and start following my channel so let's get started so this tutorial will be installed on a fresh clean Grand Theft Auto uh, game so it doesn't have any mods so this is a step by step guide from a clean install if you have already some mods installed that's no problem you, you can just add it to them and we're gonna have to download uh, some files for this 11 files 2, 4, 6, 8, then 11 I will leave the links in the description of all website we visit, visit, all, also visit and I'll, I will also uh, number them so let's start downloading them it's just as easy as this just hit the download button and they will get started to download as you can see hoppa download download all of them on this one here you also have to press download go to site i mean and it will download it automatically and go to site you see it will download it and you just hit download anywhere where you see the download button here the scripted proof v2.10.10 .10. just download this one right here and here you will download this file and the rest is the same so that's step one so that was step one okay then we have the files here i gave them a number as you can see so it will be also better uh, uh, a bit clearer for you so we're going to start with number one that's the open iv we're just going to double click it english we're going to press continue and accept the agreement continue and we're going to continue and install it i already have it so i don't need it and that was step one after it's installed we're going to open open iv the first time you open it you have to open it with administration rights so that's this right click on it and run as administrator and we're going to hit windows okay and here it says administration mode what can i do you will just press what can i do and you'll hit set permissions then this uh, permissions will be set and you can close it and reopen it one more time after you reopen it hit windows again and let's let it load up And what we're going to do now is we're going to hit Tools, ASI Manager, and we're going to install all these, these three options. That's done. And the next step is we're going to go to our download files. Oh, I see I have numbered these two wrong. This is number three, and this is number two. And we're going to double click on the Spider-Man V2. And it will open Open IV. It's a clean and fast install. And we're going to hit install and we're going to install to mods folder. Confirm installation. And close. If you don't have a mods folder yet, it will ask you to create one. Just to be clear, oh, uh, create the mods folder. Okay, then we're going to go to step three. We're going to extract the add on pets. And we're going to open it we'll have uh for this we'll need our grand theft auto main directory and me by me it's in the app disk open it up and you're going to select add-on pet selector and add-on pets farce and we're just gonna drag and drop the files in our grand theft auto main directory i already have them that's why you saw that and then we have uh, the script we're going to open up in our grand theft auto main directory and also in the uh, installer we're gonna hit pet selector and drag and drop it in the script folder we're gonna go back and then we have the DLC packs add on pets what we're gonna do now is we're gonna go to our Grand Theft Auto uh, uh, open IV we're gonna go to update 
x64 dlc packs and here you'll have the dlc pack what we're going to do is we're going to drag and dra drop the add-on pets folder which is not possible with we're, we're going to first hit edit mode and now we're going to drag and drop it and here you see it's added so now we're going to go back to grand theft auto main directory and we're going to go to update update uh, common data and we're going to go down and we're going to see dlc list we're going to edit it we're going to go all the way down we're going to select the last line oh it's already added as you can see but probably not with you you're just going to copy and paste the last line so that will be this i'm just going to do exactly what you will see this is what you will see and we're gonna uh, copy and paste the last one it doesn't matter if it's not on this order and we're gonna change that last name into add-on pets copy paste and we're gonna hit save okay that's also done and we've installed now add-on pets we're gonna go back to our uh, the files we downloaded and we're gonna go to number four we're gonna extract it and here you see that it's opened and we have here the ime files and in our other fol folder we'll have the pets right here we're gonna start with that we're gonna go back to open iv to grand theft auto and we're gonna hit update x64 dlc packs add-on pets dlc and we can copy all this also to the mods folder we're just gonna send that we're gonna uh, copy it and as you can see now we're in the mods folder what we're gonna do now is we're gonna hit pets and here we're gonna select all these and we're gonna just drag and drop them into this open iv folder okay then the next step is to go back to our grand theft auto main directory folder and we're gonna open up add-on pets editor run as administrator and i wait for it to load up okay now as you can see i already have them but i'm just gonna install it uh, uh for you guys we have multiple names here as you can see I'm going to make this very clear for you to understand. We have one. These four files are the same name. These four are the same name. These four are the same name. And these four. So we're going to install four suits in this game. All four, we have to put it in the add-on pet selector or else it will not work. So let me see. Do I have the 2017? Yes, here, right here. 2019. So you're going to just hit pets new pets and what you're going to do is the model name you're going to make it exactly the same you're going to select here the name copy it paste it add pet type you're going to hit mail is streamed you're going to hit false you're going to add the pet and as you can see it will be added here and you're going to do that four times for all the names this was one there will be two there will be three there will be four after after you did that, you're gonna hit rebuild. That's all you have to do, okay? It's very easy, that's all you have to do. And when that is done, we can go back and we'll go to the INI file. Now we're going back to our Grand Theft Auto main directory. We're going to script, Spider-Man files, and profiles here. We are going to select the I and I folder files and drag and drop them in this folder. And that's also done. Now we're going back to the Grand Theft Auto main directory. And here we're going to step five is the audio release. We're going to also extract that. gonna select these two files and we're gonna go in our script folder and we're gonna drag and drop them in the Grand Theft Auto script folder that's how easy that is then 
we're going to go back to number six. We're going to extract it. And we have native UI. We're going to go back to our Grand Theft Auto main directory and we're going to drag and drop these two files. Then we're going to go, that's also done. So we're going to go to number seven, that's scripthookv.net. And we have the few files here. We're just going to select them. We're going to drag and drop them in our Grand Theft Auto main directory. That's also done. We're going to go to number eight extract it and we have here the bin folder what we're going to do is we're just going to select these two files not the native trainer uh, uh, file we're going to drag and drop it in our grand theft auto main directory then we're going to go to uh, number nine we're going to extract it. And we have the head adjuster. We're going to drag and drop it in our Grand Theft Auto main directory. That's also done. Let me clean up here a bit. And that was number nine. Then we're going to go to number 10. We're almost done. We're also going to drag and drop these two files and just put them in the Grand Theft Auto main directory. And we're going to go to the last one. That's number 11. We're going to extract it. Uh, where is it? Right here. Okay, so here you'll select uh, Grand Theft Auto V29. And for more mods, and here you can choose if you want more traffic. I will uh, give give it a stock traffic. And you have here the game convict file. We're gonna open um, open IV again. We're gonna go back to the Grand Theft Auto main directory in Open IV. We're gonna hit update, update again, common data, and here you'll have the game convict file. And we're just gonna drag and drop the new one into this folder that's about it people you can also choose to copy it to the mods folder not necessary but we can just hit it and then here you'll also have it just make sure you'll drag and drop it one more time and that's about it next step is to start up grand theft auto which we're gonna do by double clicking it uh, this is a good moment for you to smash the like button and start following my channel let's let grand theft auto load up Okay, when Grand Theft Auto is uh, started, you're just going to go outside, you're going to hit F10 button and you're going to get a communicator script uh, left upper corner and you're going to hit Spider-Man script and here you get to choose one of the four suits we installed and we're going to hit uh, Far From Home, Enter, Activate Powers and Suit. And there you go, people. We've installed it in 13 minutes and 41 seconds. As you can see, it is working. So I'm going to just, uh, uh, the powers, I don't have a lot of experience in it, but you can also choose to deactivate powers because mainly that's how I use it. See, but if you want to activate powers, it's also possible. Now you have the powers to play with. As you can see, you can jump. If you hit the tab button on your key cutter, you have a lot of options. Again, you can read the manual in the websites uh, of the link in the description that I left where it will be a manual in it. So that's about it, folks. Don't forget to smash the like button and start following my channel. Don't forget about me. Yeah, okay. And uh, if you have any tips for me regarding uh, uh, the t tutorial and the step-by-step -step guide or any tips, please leave them in the comments. Thank you for watching and until next time, don't forget me.